doing? I hope you all had a great holiday weekend. Mine was good. I took a little short trip over to St. Augustine and back and really did some uh, did some good for me. I needed a little R&R &R and needed to get away for a little bit. Um, as you can see, this is I'm looking at my Seeking Alpha. Um, this is kind of maybe a repeat video, so to speak, of uh, things from the past, but I just want to make sure I'm being real clear on this. This is just a website. It's a website service. They have some other things uh, that if you subscribe that you could utilize for, you know, their information, their data, and what have you. I'm not promoting that to you. If you want to use that, you're obviously free to do so. Um, I think a lot of what you might get from here, you would also get from your brokerage account. And I'm not saying you can't use your brokerage account either as far as tracking your portfolio. I just like the layout that they have. I like the information, like the after hour or pre-market that they show when the market's not open. And uh, I just like the layout. So that's just a personal preference. What became apparent to me over the weekend uh, was helping a friend set up a portfolio. And they didn't quite understand, I guess, something from the video. So... All you do is you go to this website, SeekingAlpha.com, you create an account, you choose the free membership. Now there's going to be pop-up ads or like stuff like this that shows up, you know, whatever. Um, so then after you create your account, so I'm going to pretend like I just opened this up and act as if I don't have any portfolios, right? So you're going to go over to My Portfolio. And you have a there's a link here, create portfolio. Now I have one for my grandson, I have one for holding, and I have one for watch list. These are portfolios I've created. So I'm gonna create one uh called just for you. So I'm gonna create a portfolio. What am I calling the portfolio? Just for you. You okay. So, create a portfolio. And it's asking me, add symbol. Because right now, it's just an empty portfolio. There's nothing there. So, let's say... Um, let's say we, we, we bought Ford. Okay. And, whoops. Oh, Ford. And you could add others. Let's say you bought GE. Let's say you bought Gush. All right. Done. So this shows you three symbols. What if you realize, well, I didn't really mean Ford. I didn't want that one. So edit portfolio, and I'm going to delete Ford. So now I've got a GE, and i got to have a gush. I'm not trying to go buy these. I'm just It was just something I threw in there for, your, for this demonstration. So right now under summary, this is what you see. It's some information, but if you hold it, in other words, if you've bought it, that's what they call, refer to as holding, like you're holding the stocks in your hand. You don't, but say that's what they call it. So if I switch over to holding, so you see the same symbols over here as you see in the summary. Okay, I'm going back to holding. But here you can add how much did you buy. So I'm going to act like I bought it today. All right. And let's say I'm going to say I bought 100 shares. And I bought it earlier today and say it was trading at uh, 610, whoops, 610 a share. I don't I have no idea what it was trading for. You would get this information when you buy the stock. In other words, when you're in your brokerage account and you buy the stock, this information, you would know how many shares you bought and you would know how much you paid. And don't do it when you place the order. Do it when they fill the order because sometimes the price is different. So the commission, the commission is if you have a fee. If you pay $2 to make a trade, then that's your commission, right? If you don't have any commission or fee, then it's zero. So I bought 100 shares, $6.10, and I got today's date. So I save it. And see what it does over here now is now that you've got some numbers plugged in, it tells you what the today's gains and the total gain okay 
So, anyhow, so now if we do the same thing, add, do the same for Gush. Say we bought 200 shares and you paid uh, $40, zero commission. Okay, so so far your portfolio is rocking. Okay, so what's happened here so far is now when you log on, and it, it's going to start off on your on your on the summary. Just like if I go up here, my other portfolios. If I go to holdings, it should start out at summary. But if I want to see all the information, in other words, how is my portfolio really doing? I have to look under the holding tab. And of course, this pop-up thing comes. You cancel it out. But see, now when I look at my portfolio, total change, total percent change. So I can look down here and I can see my total portfolio to date. Well, it was now it just it's at 24.98 percent. That's a good return so far. Uh, basically, what it's showing is if if I took all profits right now, if I sold everything and just kept my profits. I would have $583 approximately that I've made in like a month and a half, I think it's been, something like that. Not bad, right? So now if I go back, slide up back here where I see this is the name of, of the portfolio. So if I go back to just for you, uh, well, because we left on holding, it went back to it. But usually it'll start off at summary. So just remember to click over here on holding and you can see what this is what's happening here now if the market's not open you know let's say it's 8 8 30 9 o'clock in the morning the market opens at 9 30 closes at 4 if you look at this at 8 o'clock and you look here at the aftermarket see right now it tells you they can't do it because the market's open but if you look at it earlier than that they're going to show you what's happened overnight where other people have been either trading after hours or trading in other markets and they will show each of your holdings and now if there's no, no change it'll just be dash numbers but if it's changed it'll tell you what the pre-market change is it's kind of exciting because like this morning I looked at it it's just about every one of mine were going up from you know uh, during the pre-market so and plus looking up here when you see green you see green you see green all this is green that's telling you there's a rally going on that means the market's up and your holdings should be doing well if, if this is all green and your mar and your portfolio is not going up you've got you've done something wrong you need to pick some different stocks maybe anyways um, so that's how you do that if say you bought some more of this uh, GE today okay what you do is you can go to holding you go here to shares and I'm gonna add a lot say I decided to buy another hundred more or no I'm gonna say 50 and and I'm gonna say that I paid uh, 630 zero commission okay See, now I have two, two line items for the GE. There's 100 shares earlier, 50 there. And you can see the difference. Now, the, the daily uh, percent is the same. The gain's different because you own a different number of shares. And, but anyways, but this shows you total for that. So as you add or subtract from your lot, if you would, your holdings, you can adjust that accordingly. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, so for me, one of the things I keep track of or one of the things I look at throughout the day is I'm looking at my holdings, under holdings, and I'm looking at this bottom line. How's my whole portfolio doing? And then, of course, I look up through here, and I'm focused on this area right in here. I like to see what it's, what's happening today, but I'm more concerned about the total. You know, like here, look at Nail. Nail totally has gone up 58.8% for me, or I made $102. Gush has gone up 32%. I've made $315 off it so far. RTW, I've owned, I think, about a week at the most, something like that. It's gone up 26%. I made $137 on it. So that just shows you how you look at this and how you can interpret it or understand it. I hope that helps. Um,
I think that's everything you need to know for that. So if you have any questions, please shoot me an email or reach out to me. However, uh, let me know. My email is jerrykite at gmail.com. jerrykite at gmail.com. Uh, put something in the subject so I know you're reaching out to me about stocks or trading or something. So I don't know. For the, if nothing else but trading video. Uh, and also, if you haven't, uh, subscribe to my channel, and every time I put up a video, you will see it or get notified of it. Hope, hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.